My heart sank as I read this text. Having fled her country a few years ago, she believed she could offer a better life to her child here. But she was in tears at so many of our visits, lonely, without many resources or hope. We communicated with the presence of an interpreter at every visit. When I tell people that I work with moms and babies, they often reply, Oh, how fun, how sweet. That must be wonderful. I felt that way as well, at first. But I also saw their isolation, depression, and the poverty that so many of my clients were dealing with. I saw an absent or abusive partner, intergenerational trauma, lack of education, mental and physical health issues, plus the effects of systemic racism in other clients' lives. I felt overwhelmed. I had been out of the clinical setting for many years, raising our own young kids. I drive away from a visit wondering if I could help. I mean, what could I offer this mama? I felt guilty for having such different experiences. When I first became a mom, I was so excited. We'd prepared so much before having our babies. We had our first home, had been married a few years, had family and friends that supported us. We had good jobs and our health. We spent weekends working on the baby's room, setting up the crib and decorating. Yet no matter what resources I had going into motherhood, having a baby put lots of extra growing up stress on us. We felt the joy for sure, but we also felt the struggles and the unexpected this experience brought. So I knew that. But we had friends and counselors that listened, laughed, and cried with us. It made us feel that we weren't alone and that what we were experiencing was part of what would bond and shape us into the parents and people we wanted to be. I think about that as I pack up clothes and supplies for my moms, helping with housing options and health and new baby information. I find a mom support group in her native language. This wasn't exactly what I needed in my new mom days, but she did. And she also needed me to be a consistent presence in her life. And I was, and I saw changes. Today, she's excited to see if she can continue past her third grade education. She laughs as her one-year-old dances and shakes the maracas we made. She shared this. And she wonders if someday her daughter or she may be able to work with families settling into the U.S. Like her. <laughs>